I want to begin with this film or go out and get a sandwich. <laughs> Meteor is without any question the most hilariously incompetent disaster movie that I have ever seen, and that does include Hurricane. <laughs> now here's the disaster. A gigantic meteor is heading straight for Earth. It's five miles across. It's speeding through the cosmos at 30,000 miles an hour, and if it hits Earth, it'll dig out a crater roughly the size of the United States of America. Now that sounds pretty bad. And in this scene, <laughs> American astronauts get a close look at the meteor, a real close look. special effects on. I've seen better planetoids on Roger Ramjet. <laughs> Looks like they spent a couple of days out on the back lot with a used camera, a bag of rubber rocks, and a 49-cent watercolor set from Kmart. Well, what happens next? A space scientist, Carl Malden, recruits another space scientist, Sean Connery, to help him destroy the meteor by blasting it apart with American nuclear missiles, which are already orbiting in space. You originated Hercules. Well, I've cut it out, Paul. I know how you feel. But dredging up old fields... I don't have to dredge up nothing. I can taste it right now. Now look, it wasn't my decision to turn Hercules turn into... Hercules into what? What did they turn it into? Will you listen to me? Hercules was never designed to be a nuclear weapon with 14 warheads pointing right down on Russia. Not only Russia. Or China, whatever the hell else. Those rockets were supposed to point outwards, not in. It's meant to defend us against the same damn threat that we're facing now. Wait a minute now, didn't I yell at them? Yeah. Didn't I stand up for you when you walked yeah. out? Well then listen to me. Will you listen to me? That meteor is five miles wide, and it's definitely going to hit us. We'll make a hole big enough to put the Atlantic in unless we can stop it. And then, what will you do? What will you do? <laughs> I think we said enough about meteor gene, but that's not going to stop me from saying one more thing. I want to describe one great scene. Now, smaller meteors go on ahead. You see, one of them wipes out the Swiss Alps, and just before it does, the movie shows 12,000 cross-country skiers, and it's not fake footage. I mean. These are really 12,000 cross-country skiers, but do we see the 12,000 skiers as they are hit by the meteor? No, we don't. Well, why not? Well, because the movie has a newscast on it. The announcer says, fortunately, our cameraman escaped in a helicopter just moments before the disaster took place. Well, that's terrific disaster footage, right? If they're just going to show future victims, why not make it a real disaster? Why not show the Boston Marathon or the Super Bowl just moments before the meteor hits? It's awful. Yeah. It really is. The name of the game in this kind of a picture is we want to see things blown apart. We want to see things destroyed. We want great special effects. This film is being billed as some sort of expensive movie. I saw it. I didn't see where the money went. It's a cheap, uh, playing with blocks kind of special effects. After Star Wars, after Close Encounters, we want real stuff. We don't get it in this picture. What you get at the end, you know, considering the fact that this meteor is going at 30,000 miles an hour, which is fairly fast, they have at least an hour for it to keep coming while they rip off other disaster movies. Mm -hmm. People are caught in a burning building, towering inferno. They're caught in a flooded tunnel under the city. That's earthquake. I was raiding, waiting for the attack of killer bees. Yeah, they should have taken all their money and put it into one great special effects instead of dribbling it out on this garbage. We both hated Meteor, rated PG, a film full of cheap special effects. That's why there's a no next to both of our names. We recommend you avoid being hit for three or four dollars <laughs> by Meteor.